Hello, hello all. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are eating enough and sleeping enough. And I am back today to do my Nikkei grind and hope that I can get something today. Um, so we'll see how see how it goes. Um, last time I checked the audio, it looked like it was a bit a bit low. So I'm gonna try to turn it up a bit. I'm not sure how loud that is. It's hard to tell. Um, I'm not sure how loud that is. It's hard to tell. Um, I think it's fine. Let's go ahead and get our gems. Boss, is there any other way I can address you? Pit Boss sounds so old fashioned at times. Call me by your real name, Love Pop. Like this? Oh, I love enjoying this. I love Pop, make sure to watch my show today. I talked to Blanc about nicknames. Some of these I remember from interactions before. I always get so nervous before I go on stage. It's debilitating. How can I get over it? Like a Blanc. Blanc? Hmm. Hey, that does mean that does seem to calm me down a bit. Thanks, Pip Boss. Blanc is precious to me, but so are you. Do you feel the same way? I'm getting older and older. Some days I'll no longer do this work. Every day, every time I think about life without work, I get frustrated. When that day comes, they'll find some. Do you three even? There's bound to be something else I'll enjoy. They'll figure it out later. Uh, let's see. I've collected 50, five, I uh, 50. I've collected five pizza coupons. Now I can finally get one for free. Haha, <laughs> I'm pretty awesome, right? Do you want me to order it for you? If you don't mind, I'm not so good at that kind of thing. She's blushing. I listened to Drake praise pizza for a long time. Drake has, Drake? has social anxiety. Is that- would that be a thing? Coach, what type of ice splendidman do you like most? Soda ice splendidman is my favorite. Want me to get you some? You mean now? I always feel so touched by your kindness, coach. I have a good time with Volkwing. I wish I could hold you all the time. Not just when I need to cool down. Aww, that's cute. She wants to hold me. I'm afraid that that won't be easy, Commander. Commander, you should turn back. What are you doing? I'm trying to talk like Rabbi. How did it sound? Was I close? Oh, Marine trying to imitate Rabbi's tone of voice. You take up all the space in my heart, Commander. Let's see, I wanted to get Tove. I 
I hugged Alice tightly yesterday. Her body is warm, which is an advantage for surviving in the cold. Is there any way I can become more like Alice? You are fine just the way you are. Well, even though I don't have a warm body like Alice, I have the skills to make sure to make survival tools that function that can function like that. Thank you for recon thank you for recon for recognition. <laughs> Her ten I hear ten adorable moments of from Alice and of Alice from Toad. Do you Toe. ever want to join me on a camping trip sometime? Uh, of course, I understand if you're busy. Um, if I do Marcina. Commander, what, what do you think a good teacher should be like? Someone who recognizes the students for who they are and helps them move toward a brighter future. Someone who guides the students and helps them achieve good results. Hmm, I think you're right. It's something that may be obvious to an outside observer, but in reality, it's very difficult virtue to uphold. I speak about what the role of a teacher is with Marcina. I do Emma. How would you define your style? Bold or understated? Bold with- you're full of surprises, but I'm afraid that's not quite my style. What a shame. Oh. Crapple. That was not the answer she wanted. Alright, that's all my advice for today. Hmm. Uh, Lionheart is gonna be done in 23 hours. Oh crap, I only, I only did one. Let's do four. Let's see if I can do this challenge. Usually the last one is the hardest for me, so this might be a little difficult. God, this is almost 300 health bars. My figurine up on my shelf. Unfortunately, his leg is a little long for the bottom part, but it, it's just it's just short enough that it doesn't fall off the uh, it. Well, it does fall off the edge a little bit, but it's not enough that it's like misbalanced. Okay, everyone's back up to full health again. Don't take Snow White out. Don't take my Snow White! Okay. Uh, let's see. We can go for this missile launcher, and then he's gonna do his red circle here right now. And we're gonna... Got it. I'm gonna let Noir reload. Let's try to take out these missile launchers as fast as we can. Oh crap, we lost Snow White.
Oh. I missed that. And what if I try again? Come on, I can. It's possible. I can do it. It's possible. It's definitely possible. I just got. I just. That timing with the. That timing with the ult was just not right. if we can do this without her. I am no longer thinking this is possible. Do the other, we can just do the other challenge. At least we tried. Um, let's see, shop. Go ahead and buy all the core dust. Not gonna use my gems on that because that's not what I want. So, I don't know why that was glowing as if something different had happened okay from the daily reward and send and receive i got to do my raid harvester let's go ahead and put our strongest team out there and let's do this Shot a door. Oh my god! This is this man is dangerous. I I just started. I just started. I'm not gonna be able to do anything to this guy. He just one shots my dudes. What the hell? Wiped out my best team. Noir came out with the most damage. This is good. This is gonna be quick. Quick as fuck. Because they're just gonna, he's just gonna wipe out my dudes with no problem. Considering that was my strongest team and he just one shotted them, I can only see us doing little damage. Gotta get as much damage in as possible. Okay, we got in. 
Rupee came in with a lot of a lot of damage. Probably because she lasted the longest. Maybe I can get a Scarlet pop off, and she can do some some serious damage to this guy. Um. What if I block? Oh, I can block it! I didn't know I could block it! I can block! Go, Scarlet! I choose you! Oh god, I have to watch when he... It's so hard to tell when he's striking. Maybe if I had blocked the first times, maybe I would have been able to get more in there. But I, that was Red Hood as well, and I didn't even get a Red Hood pop off. That's rough. Really rough. But, you know, we did, our, we did the best we could with what we had, and that was what we could do. Let's see, and there's... Usually when I pick Gravedigger, I always just line up all my shotguns, but, you know, I don't know if I need to do that anymore at, at this point since my Mikes are so strong. Not even the second. Not even the second. Maybe I do. Uh, whatever. After all that, I deserve After a compliment. All that, I deserve a compliment. Let's see, we'll do the first, first room for the simulation, and then we'll do the. We'll do the. Team the. Challenge arena, the PvP arena. So yeah, I assume I can do okay in the arena. I still haven't unlocked that last. Oh, I forgot I'm on I'm on manual. I need to do for that and then the arena will go in there and oh, let's do this one this is 196 we should be able to win unless they have a better team comp than I do then that might be a little that might be a little bit hard but yeah
Get rid of Emma. I can't heal fast enough. Dang it. Okay, this is the last one to decide who oh Soda's out. One. It was a close one. Two or five. Ready? Uh, I'm so tired from last night. I just like I feel so drained. But like, I also feel like I can't do anything. But I'm trying to stream because I'm like I don't want to sit here and do nothing. Because I hate sitting around and doing nothing, but I just, I actually really like streaming, so if I'm going to do something, if I'm going to do something, it, I want to stream. But I guess I could do other things like clean and stuff, but I don't necessarily have to clean. But I, if I do that, then it only lasts a little while and then, I, then I'm done with it, and then I don't feel like... I need to do anything else. I'll just like set a limit for myself, like whatever I can do for that day, then I'll do that. And then I'll just lay in bed for a while longer. So yeah, it's a, it's a battle, you know, I, I'm not currently working, so Whenever I, the day starts after I finish my daily necessities, like eating and going to the gym and stuff, then I just have for a lot of free time after I take care of the dog and stuff like that. I don't really have anything else that I need to do. And that's why I tried picking up streaming again, because I thought maybe it would help me with my, with my uh, boredness and my lack of doing stuff, even though... People say, like, there's always something you can do, but for me it's, like, really hard because I just start thinking that I can't do anything, and then I have to, like, remind myself, like, okay, I can do stuff, there is stuff I can do, I just have to remember because every time I start thinking about it, I sit there and I sit there and I think and think and think. Oh my gosh, the tribe tower is open, we're gonna be able to roll for a pilgrim today! Oh yeah! <laughs> Let's, see what they can do. Let's see if we can do this tribe tower though. I'm, oh my gosh. <gasps> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> Here it comes. Here it is. Let's see if we can do this tribe tower. <laughs> we want to preserve beautiful memories of my campus life. Do I have enough time to do this? I hope so. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. There we 
go. Done. Yes. And we get to do the pilgrim mold today. Yeah, like I was saying, I just struggle. Like I sit there and then like I have nothing to do, but I don't want to waste my time. But I also feel like I want to lay in bed, but I also feel like I want to do something productive and something that I like doing. But I always seem to just forget. Like I just I have to remind myself like multiple times, like you can do this, you can do this, you can do this, or this, or this. And it just like it's just like a struggle sometimes because I just can't I just can't seem to remember and it makes me really frustrated like I get really it, like upset like I feel like I can't do it, it right I feel like I can't take care of myself and I mean I can it's just so like I'm getting used to it like getting used to the lifestyle and getting well I've been this way for a while but I just don't. Because it's so easy to just be like, I'm not going to do anything, and I'm just going to sit here and do nothing. But in reality, that doesn't make you feel any better. So you want to like actually do stuff that like is productive and meaningful to your day. But at the same time, there should also be like a freedom to like relax and not have to worry about stuff. So it's just a, a, a crossroad, like you have to, it's a, it's a white line, like you really have to just be careful, like you, you know, not overwork yourself to the point of exhaustion, and then with no work, with no play, but also not just all work as well. And... Am I going to be able to do this? I might not be able to do this one. Can I- unless I can get some healing up in here. I don't know. I have 30 seconds left. Naga was my healer. I don't think I can do it. No. Even a hero needs to recharge once in a while. <laughs> Is this the end? What if I try again? Maybe I can do it if I try again. Let's get this over with and hurry back. I think things started going downhill when Naga got knocked out. But I think it's possible. I think it is. like a buff increase guy over there with the sword above his head is that a buff increase guy it seemed like it I want to preserve beautiful memories of my campus life focus on this guy focus on him Beautiful memories of my campus life. 
There we go. See, second try is all it takes. Second try is all it takes. And then we got five from that one. Okay. Now we go to the Pilgrim Tower. And oh my god, it's Show me what you finally got. happening. Give me your best shot. Should I push? Should I play as? I don't know. I could play as Scarlet. I could play as Red Hood. I could play as Snow White, Small White. I don't know why, but normally in the Pilgrim Tower, I like to play as one of them. Why don't you just develop something like an infinite magazine? Let me this time last forever. Sorry to break the team, but this is the end. Behold my ultimate rage. Let's keep the momentum going. Dead before he could even shoot off his attack. <laughs> Fancy a drink? I'm going to be reaching level 100 here pretty Prepare soon. To meet your maker. So OP, that Snow White's ult is so OP. The goddess squad is victorious once again! Stay alive, everyone! Oh no, I was just getting into the groove! Better reload! Why don't they just develop something like an infinite magazine? Crap, I missed. Is she gonna not do anything now? Booey. Um, let's see. What can be done? We'll just do small white. Eighty two as for almost to level one hundred. Oh, my God, I need all the prayers in the chat. Please pray for me. Please give me something. No. Kidding me? <sighs> I guess this is my life now. Cries. I could have gotten a pilgrim. I could have gotten a pilgrim, and it gave me a fucking R. Fucking kidding me with this bullshit. I'm pissed off. What a pathetic bunch. I 
I'm even stronger. Uh, at least it gave me something for the high quality mold. At least it gave me something that isn't complete trash, but. <sighs> My pilgrim mold! All that time I spent farming! All wasted! 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 <laughs> Where my heart, I loved her. Okay. Okay, I can roll. Come on. One is all it takes. No. Soldier FA, awaiting your order. Soldier EG, at your service. Please, just give me a new Nike. Please, pretty please with sugar on top. Pretty please. If you fucked me over with the pilgrim, well, the least you could do is take responsibility and give me a new Nike to compensate for the pain that I've been through with that pilgrim mold. Okay, no, I can roll again. Nothing. Welcome Fucking to just in nothing. Time. Welcome. Take as much time as you like. Smart it's not even close on the. You can take your time, Commander. Okay. Well. I just buy everything from this shop since I have like a, a shit ton of these core pieces. that does I can't recruit anymore so yeah let's see what's in the liberation Still have a ways to go with her, but I'm not using my gems. I spent like I use my gems every single time with Quincy, but Sin I did not. Oh, can I level up the synchro machine? I can. so bad on the core dust though. It only took me a couple of days to get enough core dust. Can I do the campaign now? Now that I'm leveled up? Shall we roll the dice? Nope. Everyone, Still not strong it's enough. We've exhausted everything that we can do here, so. There's more where that came. Um, what else can I do?
don't know. I don't know, none of my games are looking appeasing right now. sleep on stream and stuff and people actually watch it so I don't know I don't know if I'd ever sleep on stream though that seems like a bit of a bit of a stretch for me but my bed is right there so I could grab a pillow or something and then chill well I'm, I'm just chilling right now to be honest I'm just I'm just relaxing to this music while I talk of board games. My Switch, which has cinnamon roll things on it. Manga. And I have manga back there on that shelf. 
shelf. Some of those I read and some of them I need to get the next book for, like, when will Ayuma, Ayumaya make his, what is it, how will, uh, when will, when will Ayumu make his move? I have the first book of that and I really like it a lot. It's like chess, but it's just between a guy and a girl who are high schoolers. And the guy obviously likes the girl, but he doesn't want to beat, he doesn't want to ask her out on a date until he beats her in chess. But she just beats him every time because she's better than him. So he just says, all right. And then she's like, but he's, he, the, he'll tease her and be like, you look cute today. And she'll be like, what? And he'll be like, uh, I said you look shit today. Anyways, and um, you should be like, I know you want to ask me on a date, but you don't want to for some reason, even though they clearly, he clearly wants to. And it's just really wholesome, and it's made by the same guy, it's made from the same author that made Teasing Master Taga Tagami-san, Tagasi, ta of it but I haven't watched it yet so I don't know it I wonder if this is a little too loud so yeah I have been reading those lately on the wall I have my figurines that make me happy You know these this person on YouTube, their name is Toasty Talk, and they just make like these really they just find all these TikToks that are really satisfying to watch. And I just love it so much because it gives me motivation to like clean and do do things in my life rather than just sit here and do nothing. It just because the people the way other people do it is so satisfying, but I know I'm not like them. And I can't do it exactly the way they do, but I just, it's so pleasing to watch. It's just really satisfying to watch and listen to. And it's always a learning experience because I get to, I get to learn about new programs that are there. and get to learn how to use things. But the thing is, I'm not very like aesthetically pleasing. Like I'm not like everything needs to look perfect or like 
I need like stickers or I need to make my journal look really pretty like I just I just want it how the way it is I just want it however just so it works I'm not really like that crazy about like making things look pretty you know I don't I don't pick out my outfits very I don't I don't struggle over picking my outfits every day like I just pick something and I'm just like well I like this I'll put it on because obviously I buy the stuff that I only like and then I put it on but you know clearly after I guess I should probably change the okay but yeah I just like watching these toasty talk videos and they make me feel better Everything showers and self-care, evening routines, TikTok, morning routines, winter edition, ASMR Sanrio, girly edition, the girl that girl wellness and self-improvement TikToks, Sunday reset TikToks, your sign to clean and declutter, bathroom restock ASMR warning not very minimal minimalistic, minimalist, morning routines and getting ready for the day, cozy get ready for bed with me. Kind of nostalgic study ASMR videos in the early quarantine area era. Cleaning motivation, fall vibes, and lots of baking. I just love watching these TikToks. I don't know, these people are so good at making these videos. And they have everything laid out so nicely and perfectly. I just wish for a minute, like, I was like that. Like, imagine how much pleasure I would receive from doing things perfectly. But then again, being a perfectionist isn't always a good thing because it can really hurt sometimes when you don't do things perfectly or the way that you wish you could. So, yeah. I also like to listen to ASMR. I don't know if you know Ghibli, Ghibli ASMR, but I like to listen to her. Usually the video that puts me to sleep, puts me to sleep the quickest is her, uh, uh, what is it called? Going to the worst... Going to the worst facial massage ever. Going ASMR, the worst reviewed spa facial. I don't know why, but she's... The lady, the way she's talking in this video, she's such an asshole. But for some reason, it puts me to sleep. Like, I can't even get past, like, the first, like, ten minutes before I'm out, like, a light. And I'm just, like so tired but I'm so I think it's like because I've seen it so much I know exactly what's gonna happen so I feel really safe and then I just and then I just go ahead and I'm sleep with it and chill with it and it makes me feel better but a lot of Ghibli Gib, Gibby Ghibli ASMR is always good I found this guy called uh, Chez, and it's just like a bunch of like really funny, funny editing, and like a bunch of idiots laughing at stuff. I mean, they they call themselves idiots, but they say idiots laughing at like idiots laughing at hilarious T-shirts or idiots laugh at cursed Spotify playlists. Idiots laughing at things that look like faces. I found him, I think it was like through... There's someone who does similar editing stuff, like... 
with the subtitling and the and the memes within the meme sort of thing you know using a meme in order to make another meme but yeah Chez is pretty cool from what I've seen Also, Magic the Noah, I've watched a few of his. I watched a video that he made called um, Board Game, but not, but all my players can't see the board, or they are all blind or something like that. Or they my players forced to play a game, but they can't see the board or something like that. And I watched that one and it was really funny. Um, and then he recently did it again with different people. I didn't like that one as much as the first one, but it was still good. Um, it's just so crazy how like they're like walking and walking around and like going left and right and up and down and they like, they're, it's so obviously, they're so fucking close, but they just choose the wrong, like they have to get to the flamingo and they, just like don't even get close but they're they're trying to figure out like they're writing out their own maps and stuff to try to figure out like which way we're going so they're like there's absolutely no way it could be any further down because we've gone down as far as we can go and then and then there's like you know we've already explored like all of the right area so there's no possible way it could be over there and then there's like bad consequences, the good wheel and the bad wheel, and then you spin to win and see which one you get, and then if you have to take a consequence for your actions, then you do. And then you always use Vaporeon. If I was like that, if I did a video like that, I would probably use Sylveon for my Pokemon choice, but I've thought about it, but I don't have any like friends that I can do that with, so I don't know. I just kind of don't do that. But it's kind of fun, a fun idea to to try to do and see if see if I can, you know, get a good video out of it, and make some people laugh, have a good time. But I don't want to like, I don't know. I feel like weird saying that I know about that video and I would like to do something like that because it feels like I'm kind of not. Like, I want to give credit to, like, Magic of the Noah for the idea because I wasn't the one who came up with it. But I think it's a really cool idea that maybe would be fun to do if you same time with your friends. He even put links to his game so we could play it on our, by ourselves. But I don't know how you'd feel if somebody else did a video, but they made, you know, slight altercations to the game so that way things were a little different or some things changed but other than that you know I think it would be fine as long as you gave credit I mean or just contacted them and said hey you know I like your idea is it okay if I do something similar to that even and give you credit in the description or whatever so yeah I don't know that's a cool idea that I've seen a lot of Oh, and Lily, Lily Pichu, I, I love Lily Pichu, I've, I haven't been watching her lately, but I love her videos with like Michael and stuff, I think they're so funny together, and they just always have a great time, and they always know how to, how to start a party, you know, they're always smiling and having fun, they're the kind of people I aspire to be, they're the kind of people that I look up to and say, hey, you know, they're pretty cool, I wish I could be like them. But yeah, um, I just, she's been playing a lot of the Diver game, Dave the Diver, I think, and said she says Lily the Diver. based Cosmo. It's just Cosmo hating women.
Oh, I've been watching a lot of Jenna Marbles, too. I hope she's doing well wherever she is. I hope she is happy living with Julian, and I hope their dogs are all fine and dandy, and I hope Kermit is still crying. I mean, I hope he's not crying. I mean, I hope he is crying. You know what I mean. I hope he's not being a nasty boy and still being in love with Jenna, and they're all still living happily ever after, even after she left YouTube. I don't know, is Julian still around? Julian too. Talking about quitting YouTube two days ago. He's thinking about quitting YouTube, I guess. That would be another person that's quitting YouTube. The game theorists are quitting YouTube. Or MatPat is quitting YouTube. Spy Captain Sparkles was saying he was gonna quit YouTube and retire. And now Julian's saying he's gonna quit YouTube. Maybe he's just talking about the topic of everybody quitting YouTube, not necessarily himself quitting YouTube. But everybody else saying like, I wanna quit YouTube because I'm wanna retire. Captain Sparkles must be like, what, in his 30s? When, when was he born? How old is he? He's 31. And Matt Pat. He's 37. He's 37. My God. He's much older than I thought. He looks so young. Why does he look so sad in this video? Is he gonna cry or something? I didn't watch it. His video saying he's quitting YouTube? I don't know. I, I didn't watch it, but I just heard the news that he was quitting. You know, speaking of Matt Pat, I was actually at VidCon and I actually saw Matt Pat walking. I was out on the out on the outside and I saw him walking with a bunch of stuff in his hands and I was like, "Was that Matt Pat?" And then I walked I looked back and he was still walking and I was like, "I'm pretty sure that's Matt Pat." And then I was like, "Should I go up to him or should I just leave him alone?" And he was kind of walking, he seemed like he was in a hurry, so I just kind of left him there and let him keep going, but I was like, maybe I should have offered to help him with this stuff. And it was like, you know, he was carrying it like this, and he was like trying to walk fast, and he was obviously late for something, so I don't know. But I saw Matt Pat there, and that was pretty cool, but the thing is, you know, people, like I saw Jacksepticeye at VidCon, and I saw... Emma, uh, what's her name? Emma Black, Emma, what was her name? Was it Emma Black, Blackery? Yeah, Emma, I saw Emma Blackery there, Markiplier, and this other guy that I can't remember. They were all playing a game on a stand in a booth in the in the VidCon space area, booth area, and I sat there and watched it and one of the girls, you know, when you're in the Jack when I was really in the Japs Jack Septicai circle, I found out like this girl handed her Septicai plushie up to him and he signed it. And I heard, you know, I found the girl that the girl that got her signed posted a picture and said, Oh my gosh, Jack signed my plushie and um, you know, it was pretty cool, and, you know, the thing that really sucks is that, you know, seeing 
all the bodyguards and stuff that have to watch Mark and Jack as they get off the floor because they're on the same level as all of us are. So the, obviously all the fangirls go over there and they like try to get to, to they try to get close to him, but the bodyguards are like, "Nope, you got to stay away, stay at least 5 feet away." And they're like like crowds and crowds of storming fangirls and fanboys just like trying to get close to Jack and they have to make like a straight line for him to walk through until he gets to like somewhere private where they can't enter but I just feel so bad because he probably has like no privacy at these kind of conventions and being out in public like that is like subjective to like get you like a mob started because so many people are excited to see you that you get you you can't possibly handle all of it for one person it's just too much for them to handle but that's why I think that they really, people really need to like chill with like their obsession with YouTubers because mine, I mean, I used, I was, even in my phase, I was still like really into him, but like I didn't go up to him and like be, be a part of that crowd of people that were just pushing and pushing and trying to get close to him. Because even if you did, even if you did, he'd be like, why are you doing this? Why are you being like this? This is not even appropriate. Like, he wouldn't even be happy to see you. He'd be more disgusted in you. And you wouldn't even be able to get what you wanted. You could get something, but you'd get something and you'd be like, you know, wow, I feel great. I passed, I punched a bunch of people through this crowd in order to get this. And he loves me and, like, everything's great. But, like, it's not because you were being disrespectful and you were being inappropriate and not following the rules or what, listening to the bodyguard and not letting him get the freedom to at least walk back to his curtain safely without being mobbed or fucking crushed by all these people that want to see you. It's it's a double-edged sword. You know, the, the popularity is nice, you know, people wanting to be around you and people wanting to love you, but also if there's too much of it, then it can be taunting. It can be da daunting. And it can be really difficult in order to maintain a professional, strict work relationship sort of thing. A work, a work environment. You know, I'm coming here to work and do my job. And then I have all these people that are interested in me, but I have to maintain face. I can't, I can't show weakness or any type of vulnerability. And it's just rough for people who are really big like those big youtubers and when i was growing up i wanted to be a youtuber i was like you know what i'm gonna become a youtuber and i'm gonna be great i'm gonna make so much money and i'm gonna have so many people that like me but then i got older and i realized that that wasn't what i wanted anymore and then i got even older and i thought i don't even know what i want anymore i don't even know what i'm looking for and now I'm just doing this stuff on the side in order to keep myself busy with something that I like doing rather than wasting away my life in bed and doing nothing. So yeah, I I don't know if I'd ever do this as like a job, but it would be nice, I guess. I don't know. I'm not quite there yet, but I think there might be potential, maybe, if I work hard enough at it and give it all I've got and don't give up on it, then I think there's a chance, but I just want to, I just want to do it at my own pace. I just want to learn at my own style rather than follow everybody else's footsteps. So, yeah. That's kind of how I feel about it, but I think I'm going to hop off for the for the day. But I hope you all had a great time and uh, I hope you have a good day and I will see you later. Bye-bye.